Hello YouTube, welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode Episode 4, Part 2. Are we there yet? Almost there. there yet? Not much further now. there yet? No, 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 we are not there yet. My butt's never been so sore in my life. Not that I remember. Huh. I feel like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl and noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. You know, I think I've heard of the Far Lands before. I'd be surprised if you hadn't. The far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? You asking me? All I can think about is food. Yeah, I'm starving. We all are. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Guys, we can't turn back now, not after coming so far. Fine, but I'm taking a break. So am I. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? <laughs> Potato, you're coming with me. It's not much, but it'll help. Hey, Jesse, have you found any food? I should probably take what I have back to the group.
Check out what I found. A potato. Incredible. Hey, at least it's food. say two potatoes is better than one. I think they say that. Gotcha, potato. Witch's hut. Ah! We should steer clear of it. Nothing good ever happens when witches are involved. Look, a cake! That's that's enough to feed everyone. It isn't worth it, Jesse. Witches hate trespassers. Besides, there are plenty of potatoes around. Is that a witch? Jesse, we shouldn't be here. Witches are very strong. Ivor, I can't pass this up. I need you to watch my back, okay? I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. I'll keep watch. Just be quick about it. A potion of leaping. Cool. Higher cake. Nice! <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes. yeah. Ow! Ivor! Ivor? Ivor. What? I don't know. He disappeared outside the witch's hut. Curse that fool of a man. Come on! Guys, I think we lost them for... Wow! I see your wow and raise you a... It's like we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Welcome to the Far Lands, my friend. I'm glad Jesse snagged this cake. It makes the whole wall of insanity thing a lot easier to face. Hmm. I think I like cake. Who doesn't like cake? By the sight, isn't it? Stretching skyward in all its glory, 
Soren, have you been here before? Not here specifically, but I have visited the Far Lands. The Order traveled far and wide during our heyday. Feeling kind of overwhelmed right now. You're not the only one. Doesn't seem as scary as I imagined it. Huh? A little fear is healthy sometimes, Jesse. Whatever Ivor's hiding in here, it will be extremely well guarded. This way, I suspect. I wish Axel was here. He'd just make some joke and we'd all feel better about this. I know what you mean. Come on! Is this... a maze? It would appear so. A massive one from the looks of it. If Ivor used the command block to build this, it could hold unspeakable peril. So, maybe we should not just wander into the world's hardest maze without a guide. Fortunately, this seems to be the only way forward. There has to be another way. A secret door, or I don't know, some way around. There's no way we're going into some crazy maze that Ivor built to keep people away. We'll find some other way through. Best decision you've made all day. Ivor needs to take better care of this place. Flowers, but no trees. Guess it's a farlands thing. Huh. We can probably climb these. Everyone! On guard! There's too many! We can't fight them all! <sighs> Guys! Caught in the vines! <laughs> well, that worked, I suppose. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, but now what? We're all separated. Let's just head that way and find a place where the pads connect. Sure hope they don't get lost in there. I hope I don't get lost in there. I first met Reuben near a waterfall like this. Hope the little guy's okay. Safe to say, the Far Lands are strange.
Yikes! Shoot! You have got to be kidding me. Olivia! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Who? Ivor kept some redstone dust handy. And a slime ball. Stone block, that'll come in handy. I don't see a way across. Stone blocks, some pistons. I wonder what this thing's supposed to be. Hello? Anyone? Olivia, is that you? Jesse, there you are. <coughs> I thought I'd never find you. Have you found a way out of here? A way out? I only just found you. This maze? We don't have time for this. Who even knows where the others are by now? I mean, the clock's ticking here, Jesse. Well, at least we're back together. Yes, the Dream Team reunited. <laughs> now the Dream Team's just gotta find a way across this gaping bottomless pit. What about this thing? Could it get us across? It's some kind of flying barge. It would probably get us to the other side, but it's in really bad shape, and it's really complicated. You can fix it though, right? I don't know. I think it's out of my league. I 
wish I'd had more time to study with Eligard. Can't be that complicated, not if it's something Ivor built. Half built, which means it was hard enough that he got stuck and gave up. This layout doesn't even make any sense. What was Ivor thinking? Or maybe it's just me. I mean, Eligard herself said I don't have what it takes to be a great engineer. She was right, I just can't hack it. Who cares what she said? I do. She's the greatest Redstone engineer ever. She's in the Order of the Stone. Sure, but the Order are still people, just like us. Right, just like us. I mean... How are we the ones saving the world when even they don't have what it takes? Soren and Ivor are always at each other's throats. The greatest warrior in history has wither sickness. None of them give Eligard any respect. And Magnus lost his life trying to fight this. If the Order can't do this, how are we supposed to? How are we supposed to do anything? All I know is the world is depending on us. And maybe the world is in trouble. I mean, they defeated an Ender Dragon. Can you name even one thing we've done right? And I don't mean managing to stay alive. Well, we won that building contest at Endercon. That was a contest, Jesse. Right, and the competition was stiff. Just think what we can do when there's nobody even watching. I like that way of looking at it. Ah, all right. I'll try it one more time. Wait a second. I think I see what he was trying to do. Jesse, take this piston, craft it into a sticky piston, then place it on the other side of the barge, along with a redstone block. You got all that? I think so. The sooner the better. Okay, let's put the redstone block where it's supposed to go and place these pistons. Holy cow, we did it! We need flint and steel to get it started. I'm proud of you, Olivia. Thanks, Jesse. And thanks for everything you said just before. It really helped. No problemo. This way! This way! Run! Everybody get on! Quick, onto the barge! Jesse! Everyone okay? For the moment. Slime! Come again? I'm remembering something with slime. And ch chickens. Or maybe they were ducks? Yes, that's how we got to Gabriel after his keynote speech. Weird. Yeah, I kind of remember. Wait. Ugh, it's already fading. Fading. And... Gone. Take my advice, Petra. Some stories are better left forgotten. That was amazing. Isn't it amazing? 
I'm just amazed you thought that was funny. Let's go see what he's hiding in there. Well, this concludes Minecraft Story Mode Episode 4, Part 2. Please come back for Part 3. And don't forget to like and subscribe and share for more videos. Thanks.